Hello, my name is Hilary. I'm one of the England Project Membership Coordinators. I'm now going to show you a presentation that's been made by several members of the England Project to tell you a bit more about what the England Project is about. Hi everyone and welcome to our presentation about the England Project. My name is Susie and I'm one of the project's leaders. I've been a Wikitree member for a couple of years now and an England Project member for about the same time. I'll be taking you through our presentation on behalf of all England Project members. The presentation has been made for Wikitree Day 2022 but we will be adding it to our Wikitree homepage so you can watch it again. And anyone who is interested in joining the project will also be able to watch it and learn about why it's a great idea to join this fantastic project. We are not kidding when we say genealogy and collaboration have never been so much fun. First up, we're going to hear from Maddie, one of our project leaders. She's going to tell us about where we come from and who we are. So who are we? Well, our members come from all over the world. And while we have lots of members in England, we also have members in Scotland, Wales, Ireland, New Zealand, Japan, Australia, Canada, North America, South Africa, France, Germany and Greece. We don't all drive on the same side of the road, but we all share an interest in our English ancestors and enjoy working together to have fun while creating a family tree which is as accurate as possible. We have over 360 members from all age groups, from various walks of life, and who have different genealogical interests. Some are quite experienced, and some are just starting out on their family tree journey. Whatever stage you're at, you will find ours a helpful and supportive community to be a part of. Just remember, you don't have to live in England to be a project member. Anyone who has ancestors from England belongs with us. Hi, I'm Ian. I'm one of the England Project Leaders. Now, you might be wondering, what is a project? Well, a project is simply a group of members organised around a topic, a geographical area, or a volunteer activity on Wikitree. The England Project is one of Wikitree's 37 geographical projects. We are one of the projects which together make up the United Kingdom. There are separate projects for Scotland, Wales, and Northern Ireland is under the umbrella of the Island Project. Our goal, which was set by our project members when the project began, is to make every single English profile the very best it can be. We want to leave a lasting legacy for future generations and help current researchers develop their own family histories. We'd like to bring them all one step closer to discovering all the people it has taken for them to draw breath. And we want people to be able to do this in an inclusive and collaborative community. Now, I'll hand you back to Susie. Thanks, Anne. It's really good to understand a bit more about how our project fits into Wikitree overall. And it's also great to understand more about our project's goals. Thank you. So now you know a little more about the project and who our members are, let's hear about some fun facts. 1st of November 2022 is our fifth birthday. We started with just a handful of active members in 2017 and now we have 8 to 10 members join every month. We love challenges and have two teams participate regularly in the Wikitree Thons. We also run our own project challenges with a different topic or theme each month. They are a great way to meet other members and to have some fun. Our project is made up of some 50 teams, so there's plenty to choose from. We have county teams, teams for improving profiles, and teams for members' special topics of interest. There's pretty much something for everyone to get involved in. English profiles make up 11% of all profiles on Wikitree, and that is growing every year. There are currently over 3.2 million English profiles. You can help us grow that number and help us continue to create a single accurate family tree of English people, your ancestors and cousins. Hi, I'm Elizabeth, one of the leaders of the England Project. 
You're probably curious about what you can expect if you join us and wondering how all these pieces fit together. I know I did when I was thinking about joining. Well, first and foremost, we have a great group of members. The project is relaxed and friendly, and we all have two things in common. We love genealogy and we love collaborating. Oh, and we do like to have a lot of fun too. I think that makes three things. Unsurprisingly, we spend most of our time creating and improving WikiTree profiles for English people. For example, have you read the profile of King Charles III? He's one of ours. And our project members create profiles for all sorts of other people, such as the families of victims of English mining disasters and of English authors. We're all volunteers and have commitments outside WikiTree too. So we give our project members the flexibility to do as much or as little as they have time for. We ask each member to join at least one project team and there are plenty to choose from, but there is no fixed time commitment. Back to you, Susie. Thanks, Elizabeth. It's really good to know that we don't have to be under pressure to do things that we don't have time for. Thank you for letting us know that. We are now going to hear from Amelia, one of our project leaders, who is going to answer a question which many of our new members ask. How does it work? As our project has grown, we've organised our members into teams based on interest and skill. Our teams are organised by either region, activity or topic. Our regional teams are our teams for each county, while our activity or topic teams include members focusing on adding sources, writing biographies, or improving the profiles of historically significant English people. Our team structure allows us to remain organised and collaborative in achieving our goals, and, like any group of people, be it a team of volunteers such as ourselves, or a multinational corporation, we have our own leadership team dedicated to supporting the growth of our project and our members in tandem. Our leadership team is made up of our friendly and supportive volunteers who make up a range of positions, including our trailblazers, team leaders, regional coordinators, project coordinators, and project leaders. This team has come together as a unit of people from all walks of life, covering ages from 18 to 80 and living all over the world, and we're always on the lookout for new people to help. One of our assets is how we depend on a wonderful bunch of people with a wide range of skills and interests who are happy to commit their time and energy toward keeping the project moving forwards. No matter what role our project members play, big or small, their contributions are valued highly and we appreciate each and every minute they have to contribute toward our common goal of improving Wikitree's English profiles. Next up, we're going to hear about the Mighty Oaks, which is the England Project's team for participating in the Wikitree Thons. Let's hear from Joan, one of our project leaders, who is one of our regular Thoners and one of our Mighty Oaks team captains. Thank you, Susie, and hello everyone listening. For those of you who have been around a while, you will know about the Saucathon, the Connectathon, and the Cleanathon. One is held every few months and over 600 Wikitree members participate. There are 72 hour marathons and focus on connecting, sourcing and cleaning up profiles. The all of the Wikitree community is involved on a particular activity and this helps achieve great results. It is good fun and you'll feel you are part of a community from across the world, all working towards a common goal over a 72 hour period. To make it even more fun, the members participate in teams and there are prizes to be won. The England Project always have at least one team and we usually have two. We are the Mighty Oaks. We use Discord to chat during these thons and it never sleeps while they are taking place. Watch out for the announcement on G2G, which stands for Genealogist to Genealogist and is the forum where the old Wikitree community communicates. They also appear in the weekly Wikitree family news email. We would love you to come and join us. Back to you now, Susie. That's great, Joan. Thanks for telling us how much fun being part of the Mighty Oaks team can be. I know I love participating in them. It gives me a chance to work as part of a team rather than just me working on my own research. 
Let's now hear from Fran, who is co-project coordinator for our challenges team. She's going to tell us all about how our project challenges work. Hi, Susie. I'd like to talk a little bit about our England project challenges. Myself, along with Carol Keeling, are co-project coordinators for the challenges team. Our main goal is to make profile improving fun. We have monthly challenges, which are fun activities where we work together as a team to create, clean up, connect, and overall improve English profiles. All members are welcome to join in, and there's usually a theme. For example, we did one called Where Was I Born, which involved adding missing locations, and another called Will You Marry Me, where we worked on marriage errors, and many, many more. The beauty of these challenges is that you can work at your own pace, knowing that every single contribution helps. It's a win-win situation. We also have occasional weekend challenges where we divide into teams for a virtual competition. We've done sporting challenges, we've done a pub crawl, we've done holiday challenges such as Halloween, we've even done a Gilbert and Sullivan performers challenge. And after these challenges have ended, all participants get a custom made sticker to add to their profiles. Everybody loves stickers. The best part of these challenges is the collaboration. We use Discord, the free communication space, to chat during the challenges. It's lively, it's helpful, and it's a great place for members to get to know each other and to ask questions and just learn from others. Genealogy can be a fairly solo pursuit, but when we gather to work on these challenges, it's a lot of fun to work as a virtual team to improve our English family tree. Back to you, Susie. I can't wait for our next project challenge. Thanks for filling us in, Fran. Now let's talk about some of our other project teams. First off is our counties team, which is one of the biggest in the project. There is a team covering each county in England and they help to coordinate work aimed at improving the profiles of people born in or associated with each county. Steve Whitfield is one of our co-project coordinators for the counties team. Let's hear what he has to say about the team. Everyone in our project has a connection to cities, towns and villages in England whether it's where they now live, where they grew up, places where their ancestors came from, or just a location in which they have a particular interest. Many members initially join a county team to develop the profiles of ancestors who originated from that county, but they often extend their research into other individuals from the same place, such as families who lived in the same street or village, communities who were affected by a major incident, such as a mining disaster, groups who were involved in religious movements, famous people with links to the county, artists, authors, sportsmen and women, musicians. The list is endless. However, most of our members don't have a particular project. They just enjoy creating, improving and connecting profiles. Being in a county team is the perfect place for doing all this. Each of our county teams has its own team leader and our counties are organised into six regions, each led by regional coordinators, all supported by two project coordinators. Our county teams aim to grow the number of profiles in the county, to develop their profiles to a high standard, and to connect them to the global tree. Some team members choose to start one-place studies. Others work on notables or other projects. Many focus on weekly reports and statistics to prioritise which profiles would benefit from a bit of attention. Whether you're creating a new person, adding a source, clarifying a confusing birth location, or researching to discover the maiden name of a person's wife, you're helping us to improve. You don't have to be a member of a team to work on a profile, but if you join a county team and get involved, you have the support of other team members, and you can see how your efforts are improving part of the bigger tree. Now I'll hand you back to Susie. Many thanks, Steve. It's been great to get your perspective and hear how the county teams work. Our profile improvements team is another one of our biggest teams and they are really important for the health of our English profiles. They fix things. They work with profiles which need tweaking and updating so that they align with the Wikitree and English profile standards our Wikitree and England project members have agreed to. I'll let you know more about the English Profile Standards shortly. But now, let's hear from Mark Rowlands. He's one of our Profile Improvements Team Project Coordinators. Thank you, Susie. 
Hello everyone, I'm Mark Rowlands and together with Janet Wilde we are the England Project Profile Improvements Team, Project Coordinators. The Profile Improvements Team consists of seven individual teams and each have their own focus areas which align with the wider Wikitree projects who also focus on the same areas. So we on the England Project have a connection with the overall Wikitree team but with a focus on English profiles. The seven teams consist of dedicated Wikitree members and each has its own team leader. The teams are Arborist team who seek out and merge duplicate profiles, Jedcom's team who edit and update mostly abandoned Jedcom uploads, Data Doctor's team who improve any profiles by identifying errors which are produced by Data Doctor reports. BioBuilders team, who develop existing profiles with interesting well-written biographies, and most importantly, with using verifiable sources. Connectors team, who cleverly find ways to attach the errant unconnected profiles to our global tree. Sources team, who find missing verifiable sources which confirm each fact in a biography and crucially confirm a profiled person's existence. Unknowns team, who find the correct missing last name at birth for profiled persons who do not have a name entered on their profile. The Wikitree volunteers, who are part of the individual teams, use their own judgments based on their interests and strengths to select their personally chosen team, many of whom have made this choice on completing our inspirational England Project Orphan Trail. Completing your own family profiles to the England Project Profile Standards helps to improve English profiles and contributes to our goals of accurate and interesting biographies with verifiable sources. If you particularly enjoy building profiles by joining any of the individual teams and their aspirational aims, then an England Project Profile Improvements Team is an excellent choice for you. Thank you. Handing back to our Susie. Many thanks, Malk. Thanks for filling us in on the work your teams do. Hello, I'm Joe Fitzhenry, one of the project coordinators for the Managed Profiles team, a team also known within the project as the Muppets. The Managed Profiles team looks after profiles which have the England project as the profile manager. These profiles fall roughly into three groups. Firstly, we manage profiles of people who are important to England and English history, such as the late Queen Elizabeth, William Shakespeare or Horatio Nelson. This group are our project's flagship profiles. Secondly, we manage profiles for living notables. These have to be managed by a project. They include film and television personalities, sports people and an ever-increasing number of prime ministers. We liaise with the Notables Project and the Genealogy in the Media Project for this group. Thirdly, we manage the Contentious Profiles. These are generally the historically older profiles, where inaccurate online trees and poorly sourced publications have led to profiles being linked to the wrong families, or they may indeed have been complete fabrications. We liaise with the Puritan Great Migration and Southern Colonies Project for the England to America emigrant families, and with the Medieval Project for the pre-1500 profiles where accurate sources are scarce. For the flagship and Living Notable profiles, the Managed Profiles is a team for the more experienced biography creators. We also need the assistance of our connectors to link these profiles into the big tree so they can be chosen as example profiles of the week. For the Contentious Profiles, our members are experienced researchers who are comfortable with the more obscure English records and have knowledge of the historical and geographical background of the period being researched. When we find a whole family that has been tangled, this may take some weeks to sort out with a group of us working on it. We monitor our English managed profiles using the profile edits feed on Discord. We can check that whatever changes are made are accurate and in keeping with the England project's style and standards. We often pick up new profiles where our help is needed from the G2G -G feed. Tag your question with England if it's about a tricky English profile and we will try to help. Now back to you, Susie. Thank you, Joe. The Muppets team really is key to keeping our flagship profiles in good shape. It was great to hear from you. Now we're going to hear about the Topics team. Thanks, Susie. Hi. Are you fascinated by an aspect of history and drawn to make or improve profiles for a particular type of person? Maybe suffragettes? 
King Arthur and the Knights of the Round Table, members of English brass bands, or English pirates. Topics are a way to bring together and curate English profiles under a common theme. We currently have 29 topics in the English project. One of them might be just the place for you. Or perhaps you would like to start your own topic, like I did when the TV series A House Through Time visited my hometown. I made a topic with a profile for each person who lived in the house. I'm still trying to connect them all to the main tree. Our topics team will work with you to get involved with an existing topic or start something new. For the national topics, we want to create flagship profiles that will be a lasting legacy for future generations. We do this in conjunction with the Managed Profiles team, which works on the profiles managed and protected by the England Project, as well as the Profile Improvements team. The possibilities for topics really are only limited by your imagination and interests. We have topic teams for all sorts of things. What topic might you like to start up? Back to Susie. Thank you. Thanks, Marjorie. Um, I really want to join some more topic teams. They sound like so much fun. It's been great to hear about them. Thank you. If you like organising things, then the Categories team is for you. Categories are extremely useful as they group together profiles that share something in common, a bit like a filing cabinet. This also makes it much easier for us to find profiles when we are looking for something specific. Categories can help members organise ongoing research, help those with a special interest find profiles they may want to investigate or collaborate on, and help historians or genealogists researching a particular topic or location. The England Project Categories team works with Wikitree's categorisation project to maintain categories relating to England. They keep our categories neat and tidy and work with our project members to create new categories when needed. Let's hear from Jo again, custodian of our English profile standards. She's going to let us know what they're all about. Thanks, Jo. With millions of English profiles on Wikitree, there needs to be a few simple rules about how they should look. The England Project acts as a forum for setting and updating the standards for these English profiles, so in consultation with its members, the project has developed the England Project profile standards. These are the standards which were agreed to by our members when the project started, and they cover such things as how to correctly add data to the name and location fields, the use of titles and other elements used in England. Our standards supplement Wikitree's general style rules and are based on the principle that we use language and terminology appropriate to the time frame and location of the person we are profiling. We have also developed a list of reliable sources for pre-1700 profiles and set good practice guidelines about sources for post-1700 and modern profiles. As a general rule, we encourage all project members to cite reliable sources when editing English profiles, regardless of the time period, preferably with primary sources or, failing that, with reliable secondary sources. We also recommend writing narrative biographies and using research notes to explain your reasoning, especially when there is conflicting data or your conclusions differ from those found elsewhere. So how do you learn about using these standards, I hear you ask? by completing the orphan trail when you join our project. So let's talk about that next. Hi, I'm Maureen, one of the orphan trail team leaders, here to tell you a bit about the orphan trail. All new England project members start off in our orphan trail team. While in the team, you will help to improve some of the orphaned English profiles on Wikitree. Those are the ones that don't have a profile manager to look after them. After you sign up for the project, you will be awarded the England Project Badge and paired up with a volunteer trailblazer who will guide you through the Orphan Trail. The trail is a structured programme designed to extend your knowledge and prepare you to work on English profiles as a project member. The trail is divided into stages based on time periods. The first stage covers a period from 1700 to 1957 and we ask all new project members to complete this stage. The second and third stages of the trail, which cover earlier time periods, are optional. Wikitree has over 80,000 orphaned English profiles, but don't worry, you won't be asked to improve them all. You'll research and edit about four profiles for each stage of the trail. 
our trailblazers who will guide you through the trail, our friendly volunteers who have all completed the trail themselves. They are knowledgeable and freely give their time to help our new project members. So we ask that you stay in regular contact with them throughout your time on the trail. Upon completing the trail, you will receive a graduation stick of your profile and you will move to another project team. You can choose from the teams we have already talked about in this presentation. If you're not sure which to choose, you can always ask your trailblazer for advice. The trail is a great introduction to the project. It also gives us a chance to get to know you and for you to learn more about the project, our members and what else you might like to do further down the line. It really will empower you to research your own English ancestors. I'll hand you back to Susie now. Thanks Maureen. The Orphan Trail really is the lifeblood of the project. It helps us bring new people and ideas into the team. It's a super place to start and the team does a great job bringing new people into the project. Now let's hear from a couple of our members who have recently completed our Orphan Trail. Oscar is now a team leader of the Devon County team and is also a trailblazer and Kathy is a member of the GEDCOM and Unknowns teams and has recently also taken on the role of team leader for our biobuilders team. Take it away, Oscar. Thanks, Susie. If you've got English ancestors or you're just interested in contributing to English profiles on Wikitree, sign up to the Orphan Trail. It's a fantastic opportunity to learn about creating and researching English profiles. I learned about all sorts of new and wonderful sources of information during my journey on the trail. You also get guided through the sometimes confusing English profile standards and tricky wiki tree stuff like repeating an inline citation and lots of other weird and wonder things. Highly recommend you do it for your own personal development as I myself found that the quality of my own profiles improved after doing the trail and for development England project and English profiles in general. And when you're done with the trail you might like to consider going on to become a trailblazer. Trailblazing is extremely rewarding. Being able to guide others through English records and the process of making top-notch English profiles gives me joy, especially as I remember how hopelessly lost I felt when I was first learning. Of course, it's also satisfying to see our trailers use their newfound skills on English profiles, as this contributes to the project's goal of making every English profile the very best it can be. That's all from me. Over to you, Kathy. Hello, everyone. I have ancestors who were born in England and I wanted to learn how to properly write and source an English profile. I had heard about the England project and I wanted to know what was needed to join. When I found out that I needed to do the orphan trail in order to join, I felt I wasn't a good enough research. I was encouraged to join by a person who is in the England project. If it wasn't for her, I don't know where I would be. I live in California, so I wondered how it would work if I was assigned a trailblazer in a different country. Well, I found out that where we live in the world doesn't matter. I was assigned a trailblazer who lives in England while I live in California in the United States. So how do we talk? On the England Project's Discord server, of course. Yes, you do need to put time into the orphan trail, but it is well worth it. You learn about the different sources that England has and how to properly write a biography and source a profile. I've made a lot of friends here and I learned so much. When I graduated from Orphan Trail Part 1, I joined the JEDCOM and the Unknown teams. In order to grow a healthy tree, we need to clean it up and prune it when necessary. Can you help us with making and keeping a healthy tree? Now back to you, Susie. Many thanks, Oscar and Kathy. For sharing your insights with us all. Okay, now you know all about the project, what are you waiting for? The England Project is a great place to hang out and work on your family tree. Here's how to join. Step one, you need to join Wikitree as a guest member. Remember, it's 100% free for everyone forever. Step two, upgrade to a family member. Step three, sign the Wikitree honour code, which amazingly has not changed since it was created in 2011. Step four, answer our G2G welcome post to join the England project and get a badge. Hillary, our membership co-project coordinator, is going to give us a quick demo so you know how to do this. Thanks, Hillary. Hello, my name is Hillary, and I'm one of the two Wikitree England project membership coordinators. I am briefly going to explain how to join the England project. 
First, ensure you are signed in to your Wikitree account. There are two easy ways to find the G2G sign up post so you can request to join. You can start from any profile. Either go to the Find menu and then to Projects. You will find the England project under Geographical Projects. Answer our G2G welcome post to join the England project and get a badge. Alternatively, you can go to My Wikitree and G2G feed. This will take you to your feed, but by typing England into the search box at the top of the page, you will be taken to search results for England. The sign up post is the first post at the top. Once you get to this post, have a read of what we're asking to make sure that you actually want to join the project. Once you have decided to join, answer this post by going to the big black box and it will say your answer at the top. As you can see, each person gets sent a comment, a reply or their answer. This reply will appear in your email box coming from Wikitree. The next part of the process, you need to send a private message to either myself or the other project coordinator so that you can join the project. Once you have sent the private message, you will be sent an email telling you more about how to join the project. Once you reply to this email with the answers, including your choice of orphan profile, you will be added to the England project as a trailer. Each person has a trailblazer. These trailblazers get assigned in order. And when we are busy, there may be a waiting period, but you are free to ask questions. The trailers channel in the Discord server for England is the best place to do this, as other trailers and trailblazers may be able to help you with your query. We look forward to you joining us. Thanks, Hilary, and thank you all for joining us today and listening to our presentation. We do hope you'll join us. There we go. That's the England project. And I look forward to receiving some messages from those who wish to join us.